Well, good morning, everyone. It is June 1st, and we're getting close to summer, but we've had some uh, pretty serious summer temperatures already this week. It's been over 30 degrees. And I'm out here early, as I always am, but especially early today, because we're back in the wonderful city of Toronto. And I know in previous videos, I've complained a lot about Toronto. And I love Toronto. I used to live here in Toronto. What I complain about is getting into Toronto, getting out of Toronto. And when you drive a 20-foot uh, camper van, it's even more of a headache to find parking, to weave through the traffic, just to get in here, man. It sucks, but I want to hit this skate park today. So we are here and we got one hell of a morning planned. I'm very excited about today. I'm here in Downsview Park. I don't know the last time I was here, maybe, maybe 20 years ago. So we're gonna take a loop around Downsview and explore the park with uh, my dogs today, uh, Chickpea and Ollie. And then we're heading over to the Stanley Green Skate Park, which is essentially one block from here. And then, and then, the icing on the cake today is I'm going to Canada's Wonderland, because Wonderland's about 20 minutes north of here, not even, maybe 15 minutes north depending on traffic. So yeah, we're gonna have a great morning. Skate park, long dog walk here in Downsview, and then a couple of roller coasters at Wonderland. Come along. Welcome to the Stanley Green Skate Park. It's uh, positioned right here next to Downsview Park in another beautiful park. And very simple. I like it. There's a lot of just sort of smaller obstacles here. Um, place looks pretty fun. Looks relatively brand new, I would say. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say for that. Let's do our thing. Let's take you for the tour and let's get a skate on before the heat comes in and uh, Give me a little bit of time to get to Wonderland this morning, so hopefully I can get there right when I open and uh, catch a couple of coasters without waiting on a lineup. Let's get a skate going. Thank you. 
why you use lens guards. It is, it is starting to get really, really hot out here now. So I think I'm gonna make some breakfast in the van and uh, start heading up to Canada's Wonderland. Uh, what a great session at this park, man. And uh, I'm still rocking these knee braces. And for anybody that's followed my, my series for a while, you know that I went through like two and a half years of absolutely debilitating um, knee tendonitis. and. I did a lot of physio, a lot of time in the gym, I've done a lot of different therapies and the last year has been great, there's been really no knee pain at all. But I really have to monitor how long I skate and one of the nice things of just doing one park on the episode, I just skated until I was exhausted today. <laughs> so it was great, I just finally, I didn't, because when I'm doing multiple parks I want to hold back a little, I gotta, you know, okay. Let's do a few tricks here, but we got to keep a little reserve in the tank and stuff like that for the next park. So it's been great just skating one park today and really being able to push it. And I really feel like I could get rid of these knee braces at this point. I'm afraid, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'm, I'm afraid that if I take the knee braces off, that the extra support that I have from the knee braces will will cause, like without the knee braces, it will cause that tendonitis to come back. And I'm just so freaked out about the tendonitis returning and needing to take more time off that I'm just like, I think just the rest of this season to make sure I get through this last season of the Ontario Skate Park Tour, I think I'm gonna keep rocking the knee braces, but like the hope in the future is like, I don't need them anymore. They were really just to be support to get through the injury. But what can I do, man? It sucks, it sucks, man. Try putting these things on and skating. Sometimes they connect together and like I've fallen because the two knee braces locked. Oh man. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get heading up towards Canada's Wonderland and uh, catch a few coasters. We're here at Wonderland and the rides haven't even opened up, so I'm going to head over to my favorite coaster, Behemoth. And I'm just going to see if I can just marathon a few rides this morning. I'm only gonna stay about an hour or so. I've got a season's pass, so I can pop in anytime. I just wanna ride a couple of coasters and, uh, you know, head home, make it worth the, the trip up to Toronto today. Awesome, got on the very first train on the front car all by myself. Nobody was in the station when we pulled back in, so I just ran to the back car. Two rides back to back. This is why you come first thing in the morning. Thank you. 
fucking blast. It's six minutes after 11, and I got on about eight rides in the time that I was in there, in, in one hour. So good, man, so good. This is the joys of having the seasons pass. I can just dip into Wonderland if I'm in the area for an hour, get on a bunch of rides, and have a good time. All right, that's it for this episode of the Ontario Skate Park Tour. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the ride with me. See you in the next episode. In case you were wondering how I keep the dogs safe in this heat, like what the heck, where did I put my dogs while I was in the park? Well, they're here in the van and we've got the air conditioner running. Hi, P. Because <sighs> underneath here, we have a massive battery bank that can run this air conditioner for up to about six hours in a day. And on top of that, I have this little unit here. That's Marcel, and that's a remote temperature monitoring system. And I have a little app on my phone, and I could check the temperature in the van anytime. So I know how to keep the dog safe. Don't you worry about that. As a dog trainer, that's my job. And I want to bring my dogs everywhere, so it helps that I can take my dogs, I can leave them in the van for a few hours, even at 35 degree temperature, I still have this uh, AC running for several hours, so it's actually a little chilly in here for a tank top. But that's it for this episode, for real this time. Hope you enjoyed uh, coming along to the Stanley Green Skate Park and uh, checking out Wonderland with me today. Alright, I'm off for a couple of weeks, and then I'll see you soon enough for the next episode. <laughs>